to my channel. This has definitely been my most requested look to do. It's like a brown spotlight smoky eye. So I decided to do that for you guys today, seeing as everyone wanted to know how to do this. I don't know what I did to my camera. I was pressing buttons in the back and then, yeah, now I have this like nice kind of yellow jaundice glow to my skin and it's just, I don't know what I did so I can't get it away. So if the video seems a bit off because of the lighting, it's because I don't know what I did to my camera and now I just can't get it back to the way it was before. So that's why I look like I have a disease. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you find it helpful. I will list everything I've used in the description bar below. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Hi guys, so I'm just filling in my brows now and I'm using Max Fluid Line Brow Gel Crime in the shade Deep Dark Brunette. I'm just using an angle brush. This one's from Inglot, but it hasn't got a name on it. So if I have one, I think it's the 317. Any angle brush you have will do the job. Now I'm taking this concealer cream and this is by Catrice and it's in the shade 025 Rosy Sand just to clean up my brows to give them a little more definition and I'm doing this on a Real Techniques accent brush. Now I'm just taking a Zoeva 322 brush and I'm just going to blend that concealer out. I'm just going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that concealer out even more. Now I'm just taking a spoolie and I'm just going to use this to shade out the start of my eyebrows. Now I'm just going to prime my eyes and I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the shade Eden and I'm just going to use my beauty blender to just blend that out. Now I'm just going to set that and I'm using an Inglot 4SS brush and I'm using the first shade in my Morphe 06F palette to do this. I'm just taking Texture by MAC on a Sigma E40 brush and I'm just going to use that as my transition colour. I'm just going to take the shade Swiss Chocolate again by MAC on that same Sigma E35 brush and I'm just going to use that to darken out my transition colour even more. Now I'm just going to take the shade Morocco by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to pack that into my crease and I am using a Sigma E35 brush to do this. I'm going to take that same Sigma E40 brush with no additional product on it and I'm just going to use this to blend everything together. I'm taking Coco Bay by Makeup Geek on a Sigma E25 brush and I'm just going to place that directly into my crease. That's why I only have it on one side of the brush because I don't want it to blend higher than my crease. Now I'm going to take the Rammel Scandal Eyes Eyeshadow Crayon in the shade 014 bootleg brown and I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. I'm just taking the shade Fudge by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just placing that all over my eyelid and I'm using a brush by Inglot, it has no name on it, but any flat synthetic brush will do perfectly. I'm going back in with my Sigma E25 brush and I just have a tiny little bit of fudge on the tip of it and I'm just going to use this to blend out that harsh line. Come to the nut buster, pussy crush 
Sasha, black mask, Come motherfucker. On, I don't chase them, I replace them. And if I'm caressing them, I'm undressing them. Fuck what you heard, who's the best in New York? Fulfilling fantasies without that nigga Mr. Rock. Or tattoo, I got you wrapped around my dick. And blend in small circular motions as well as windshield wiper motion. Now I'm going to go back in with that Sigma E35 brush again just to blend everything together. I'm just going to take the eyeshadow 373 by Inglot again on an Inglot brush and I'm just going to use that to highlight my brow bone. I'm going back in with the Sigma E40 brush and I'm just going to use this again to blend everything together. I'm going to take this gel liner by Morphe brushes in the shade Sleek. And I'm just going to place that in the center of my eyelid. I'm taking the Urban Decay eyeshadow in the shade Space Cowboy and I'm just placing that right on top of that gel eyeliner. The eyeliner is just the base just for this eyeshadow to stand out a little bit more. And again, I'm just placing that right in the center of my eyelid. I just went in with a baby wipe just to clear up my eyes. Now I'm just going to take my Inglot Gel Eyeliner in the shade 77 and I'm using a Zoeva 317 brush just to draw my wing on. This is the easiest technique of drawing on winged eyeliner I've found. Of everything I've tried, honestly this is what works best for me. Obviously I'm doing a horrible job at demonstrating this for you guys because of my camera angle but it honestly is so easy once you learn how to do it. I'm taking the eyeshadow voltage by Makeup Geek and I'm placing that in my inner tear duct and I'm going back in with that Zoeva 317 brush and I'm just going to place that leftover gel liner in my waterline and I'm just going to tight line my eye with the Sigma E15 brush and I have the shade Noir from Anastasia Beverly Hills on that and I'm going to blend that all out and I'm using a Sigma E30 brush and I have a tiny little bit of the shade Morocco and I'm just going to use that to blend that lower lash line out together. Now I'm going to use my mascara and this is the Catrice Glam and Doll False Lash Mascara. I'm just going to put my eyelashes on and I have, I don't know the style of these lashes but I will link them down below and I have duo glue on them. Now I'm just going to extend the inner corner of my eye just so I kind of give my eye that kind of cat eye shape. And again, I am also using my AMC Inglot Gel Eye 977. Priming my face today and I'm using the 17 Wow Skin Tan Liquid Glow. And then I'm just going in with my foundation and this is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And this is in the shade MW40 and I'm just using my Beauty Blender just to put that all over my face. I'm just going to highlight my face now and I'm using the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age, the Eraser Eye Perfect and Cover Concealer with Goji Berry in the shade Light Wow. That was a mouthful. I'm blending this all out and I'm using a very damp beauty blender and then I'm going to bake my face and I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I'm just going to contour my face and I'm using the Balm Desert Balm Bronzer and Blush to do this. Now I'm just going to wipe away that excess powder underneath my eyes and now I'm just going to carve out the contour using again the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just applying my blush and I'm using the Makeup Geek blush in the shade Romance. Now I'm just going to highlight my face and I'm taking my Sigma F35 brush and I'm going to highlight using my Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter in the shade Riviera. I'm just going to sweep away that excess powder underneath my cheeks. I'm just going to take a wet wipe and just wipe off the foundation off my face. I'm going to line my lips using the Wet n Wild lip liner in the shade Chestnut. I'm just going to fill my lips in using that same lip liner. And I'm just going to apply my lipstick, which is Stone by MAC. And I'm just going to set my face using some MAC Fix Plus. say 
like a huge thank you to every single person that commented, liked, subscribed to my channel and the people that shared my last video. It definitely meant a lot and for every single person that messaged me i'm sorry if i couldn't get back to everyone i tried to get back to as many messages as i possibly could thank you so much to everyone it honestly meant a lot that you guys took the time out of your day to watch my last video i really hope you guys enjoyed this one and i'll see you in the next one bye guys